We welcome you inside the Ice Arena Salzburg here in Austria. Game day number six of the regular season as Red Bull Salzburg playing host to the T Pelicans. Hi, everybody. Keep Homer along with you. Glad to have you along wherever you're tuned in for Champions Hockey League action. Mentioned it's the last regular season game prior to the round of 16. You take a look at the standings there on your screen. The Pelicans trying to play their way in the playoffs right now. A win would go a long way here today toward making it into the top 16. On the outside is Salzburg as they are looking to play spoiler. They just have not been able to get the offense going really at all this season. One of the lowest scoring teams in the CHL so far this year, but on home ice here tonight trying to play the role of the spoiler. As you see Dennis Robinson getting warmed up. Peter Schneider, he's been somewhat quiet offensively this season through five games, only one goal for Schneider this season. In the 10 games in the ICEHL, he has three goals and eight assists in the play. Thomas Roffel also been somewhat stifled this season, only a couple of points wearing the top scorer jersey here tonight for Salzburg. For the Pelicans, Casper Putio. A couple of goals, a couple of assists. He's wearing the leading scorer jersey here tonight for the Pelicans. He's going to get some assistance from Patrick Carlson in five games, a goal, a couple of assists, three points in the season in CHL play. In Liga competition in 12 games, Carlson, six goals and a couple of assists, so he's been able to light it up. I guess Vilen. Mentioned his name quite a bit here tonight. He has a goal and four assists on the season. We're about ready for our national anthems here from Salzburg. Final regular season game for both these teams. There are a handful of games tomorrow across the Champions Hockey League. That'll be the last day prior to finding out who's going to be in the round of 16. You can see why we are delayed here a little bit. As soon as the teams got finished with their warm-ups, one of the 
panes of glass back behind the net ended up breaking. And so the crew here at Ice Arena Salzburg has been busy cleaning up the broken glass and trying to get a new pane in there. It is directly behind the goal and also where the Zamboni goes on and off the ice as well. trying to get things cleaned up, squared away, and trying to get a new piece of glass in there. And it looks like they may have it. You can see the new piece of plexiglass in there. They just got to get it stabilized there. So we have a little bit of a delay prior to our national anthems and our puck drop here this evening. See the Zamboni trying to squeak by to try to repair that piece of glass. So they're about set to get it in place here. A couple of stanchions. At the top. Mentioned the standings. The Pelicans right now, if you're taking a look at the CHL standings, they come in at 15th place. They have eight points on the season. This is the final game of the day today across the Champions Hockey League. So a outright win for the Pelicans here this evening would give them 11 total points in the CHL and would vault them up into the top 10 potentially. Remember it's the top 16 teams that get into the next round of the Champions Hockey League. Those games slated to start mid-November a month from now in a round of 16. A loss however by the Pelicans tonight they could still squeak in potentially. I say potentially, just given what happens to the teams that are behind them end up playing tomorrow. With Solari Trinets and the Belfast Giants in action tomorrow. And those teams are right behind them, only a couple of points behind, or one point behind if you're with Solari Trinets, a couple of points if you're the Belfast Giants. If you're either one of those teams tuned into this one, you're obviously wanting to see the upset potentially to help your cause to try to get into the round of 16. So you can see our game being delayed by about 20 minutes. Initial puck drop is supposed to be right around 20 local time. a few minutes here replacing that class. Talked about Red Bull Salzburg struggles this season offensively. They've only managed eight goals throughout the five games they've played in the CHL so far this season. They've scored eight goals, they've given up 12, and their power play has not been great. They only have one power play goal out of the 20 power play opportunities they have had this season. So the offense for Red Bull Salzburg has just not been able to find a groove so far this season. But who knows? You never know what can happen. Final game of the regular season. Both these clubs here tonight. We'll see what happens. See some of the let's see Pelican fans on hand along with Salzburg. 
think we're getting close to our national anthems here. As they dim the lights in the ice arena. Zamboni out on the ice, getting things prepped and ready to go. I'll tell you what, we'll step aside. We'll come back. Get ready for our national anthems. Here in just a moment from Ice Arena Salzburg here in Austria. Salzburg coming out of the locker room. Ready to take home ice here tonight. Latin Pelicans come out here in just a moment as well. Just a few moments away from the national anthems. Our starters being introduced here tonight. I can tell you the two starters in goal. Pelicans going to go with Yuho Oklinora. Three CHL games under his belt. He's one and two in the CHL season. Save percentage has not been fantastic for Oklinora. 0.878 save percentage and a 3.38 goals against Apple. For Red Bull Salzburg. We're going with the 29-year-old David Kickert. 
seven and one so far in the CHL. Giving up three goals against the save percentage, not horrible, 0.905 on the season. Again, our game being delayed because of some repairs that have been made to a pane of glass back behind one of the nets after warm-ups were completed. Glass was shattered. Didn't see how exactly it broke, but my guess was since it was back behind directly the net, a puck caught it just right and up shattering the glass. So it took about 20, 25 minutes to get that all cleaned up. You can see the starting lineups here. First, second lines, Philipson, Dennis Robinson, Robinson, Thomas Raffle, Florian Walter, and Peter Schneider. For the Pelicans, first line, Casper Puccio, Lars Brickman, Patrick Cordelson, and Adam Perez.
coach for Red Bull Salzburg. Salzburg will work left to right here in the opening period. Pelicans right to left. Pelicans wearing their black uniforms with light, light blue trim. Dark blue uniform. Salzburg wearing their white jerseys with red trim here tonight. Important game for both clubs. Pelicans Giants who increase their chances of making it into the round of 16. Red Bull Salzburg, if they were to win tonight, given where they are at in the standings, Salzburg is in 19th place. They have four total points, seven points would get them maybe into the top 16, maybe. They would need a lot of help. And at the moment, Otsolari Trinets is in that final spot with seven points. So they would need some assistance, but they would have to win here tonight in regulation. A win by Lati would pretty much secure them a spot in the next round of the Champions Hockey League. Seeing Casper Putio wearing the top scorer jersey tonight. A little bit of ice maintenance once again. Get the pegs into the ice. That can sit on its bearings there. Had a lot of maintenance taking place here at the arena here this evening. The team's anxious to get this one underway here. Team from Finland making the trip over to Austria. Even though they've been playing fairly well in the Champions Hockey League, Lati may have struggled in their league play and Liga play. They are in the bottom portion of that league in Finland. We know they can light up the scoreboard, no doubt about that. How will the goaltending stand up for the Pelicans tonight? I think we're about ready to go here finally. Net is on its bearings. The glass has been fixed. We're about ready to rock and roll here from Salzburg. As we are underway as the Pelicans win the draw back and it's played back toward Casper Puzio. Glad to have you along wherever you're tuned in for Champions Hockey League as kicker plays it from his own net, throws it up ice, out through center, trying to track it down is Thomas Roffel. Roffel trying to gather it in along the near side boards. Roffel lost it as the Pelicans will play it out over their own blue line. And then Salzburg will gather it back in. Dennis Robertson. Back in his own end. Almost a minute gone by here in the opening period. As Robertson surveying the ice, brings it across his own blue line. Pass was touched up briefly that time by Vukovic. As Vukovic wraps it around to the opposite corner. 
Puck rolls along back near where that glass was originally broken prior to the start of the game. As the puck will trickle out through the neutral zone now. And a whistle and offsides. So stoppage in play with 18.58 remaining here in the opening period. Well, he talked about the struggles of the offense for Salzburg. For the Pelicans, a little bit different. They've been able to find the back of the net. They've scored 18 goals on the CHL season through five games. They have, however, given up 14 goals against. It's the draw one by Salzburg and then dumped down into the attacking zone as Okinora tried to stop the puck back behind his own net, but it got past him. Up over on the far side half boards toward the blue line. It's thrown up and out of play. Puck hit the netting, and so we'll have a faceoff here. Pelicans have scored five power play goals on 21 power play opportunities. They've given up three power play goals against. They've killed 15 of their 18 power play chances. So the offense for the Pelicans has been there. It's been a little bit of a defensive issue. He's touching up the puck briefly was Levy Tukinainen. Wrapped around and another whistle. No stoppage with 18.26 to go. Tim Harness, you see there just outside the circle for Salzburg. Pelicans able to win it out of their own zone, but it's quickly taken away by Salzburg as Harnish picked it up in the corner for a brief moment. Now fighting for it was Paul Huber. He lost it, and finally, let's see, will bring it out of their own end. Played up ahead this time to Elias Vilen. Vilen trying to free it up and finally does come free. Top of the left circle. Good passing here by the Pelicans. Finally possessing the puck in the attacking zone. Shot and a rebound out in front that went just wide that time. As the puck is played into the corner. As Eunice Ellens fighting for it for a brief moment. And then gives way to Petri Rianen. Along the near side. Consta Hirovainen played a little bit farther and now Red Bull Salzburg. Trying to get it through the neutral zone. Now they lost possession of it as the Pelicans will pick it up in their own end. Stolen away out near the red line that time uh, by Lucas Toller. Plays it in. Anton Villary. Villary gives it up. Puck in the slot that time. Patrick Carlson had it taken away. A little bit of a collision out near center ice that time as Adam Barris. Rips it into the Salzburg zone. Turning it over was Patrick Carlson. That's uh, the Salzburg giving chase here. Rolling puck as a stick came out of the hands of Tony Utunen. Long pass up the ice that time. Uh, Pelicans trying to corral a bouncing puck. Finally backhand the puck. Back behind the net of David Kicker. Picked it up for a brief moment. Stolen away. Almost four minutes gone by here in this first period. We are scoreless. Both teams trying to find a little bit of rhythm here early on of this opening period. Cross ice, Salzburg touched it up. Adam Payer deflected it into the zone for a brief moment. Puck pops free, Lucas Schreier fighting for it in the corner for Salzburg for 
a quick second. And a line change coming for Salzburg and for the Pelicans as well. Only Kako back behind his own net. Kako will bring it up, up ahead. Now he gives way. Buck bounces off the boards into the opposite corner. Puck pops free this time. Back behind the net. Puck was deflected. Pelican's able to hang on to it, though. As that one blocked, taken away. Pass up ahead on the attack. Two on two, Salzburg. They'll slow it down a little bit. And now the puck leaves the zone, and so everybody's got to get back on side. Salzburg had an opportunity there. They slowed it down, ended up turning it over. But here they bring it up the ice on the attack again. Puck played into the corner. As this will leave the zone, will be picked back up at the neutral zone. 14.05 remaining in the first period. Only one shot on goal so far. That coming from the Pelicans. side here as the puck comes all the way around out through center giving chase was Thomas Roffel there for a moment but overskated the puck and now it's pinned up along the boards and Salzburg trying to gain control of it in the attacking zone but unable to do so as Casper Puzio picked it up out of his own end and got it out of harm's way Salzburg will regroup in their own end here. Buck played off the boards, out through center. They're on side here as that's Ali Vukovic dancing with it behind the net. Vukovic lost it, lost an edge as well as he's dumped to the ice. Gets it right back though. Vukovic plays it back behind him. Still trying to keep up with it as he pinned it up along the boards and now it skitters free. As Vukovic along the far side half boards. Okofler played it in behind the Pelican's net for a brief moment. And now here comes Tony Utonen. Utonen with a little bit of speed, but he's knocked off the puck and it's picked up that time by Luca Auer. Back out toward the blue line. Pelican's unable to hold the zone. So they'll play it back out to center and they will also make a line change as well. As the puck will find its way briefly into the Lati zone. And a whistle comes in with 12.07 remaining here in this opening period. We are scoreless. Not a lot of offense so far by either team. Salzburg yet to get a shot on goal. Only one shot on goal from the Pelicans, you can see it here. They had a rebound opportunity. As it was thrown on net by Elias Phelan. Pelicans win the face off. That one blocked out in front. Puck is loose. Backhand opportunity. No, save made by Kickert. Still bouncing around, and Kickert finally covers it up. And another little skirmish here. Horky gets tied up. Breaking the action. We're scoreless between the Pelicans and Red Bull Salzburg.
have a breakout like this. Gap up, gap up, gap up, gap up. Faceoff will come just outside of the Salzburg blue line. As Nate Schar takes the draw for the Pelicans, but Red Bull Salzburg able to win it back. Puck pops free. Pelicans will gather it up in their own end. Mikhail Jordan. Touching it up briefly. Jordan, long outlet pass up ahead. Wrapped around the boards here to the near side. Jordan trying to gather it back in. Lays it back out through center. Rolling puck. Into the corner. Pelicans out of their own end. Neither team has been really strong with their puck handling so far. A lot of passes have been broken up. And here's an opportunity here for Salzburg along the far side. Dump it down a little bit farther as Thomas Raffle is there. He got pinned up along the boards in Salzburg. Looked like maybe they had something. The Pelicans able to defend. Casper Putio back behind his own net will stop the puck and give it to Tony Utenen. Coming up on the halfway point of this opening period has not been a lot of offensive action so far. Three total shots on goal, all three of them coming from the Pelicans. Turnover for a brief moment as Dennis Robertson broke up the pass. And now this puck will go all the way down. No icing call here. Play continues as it's picked up by Adam Payer. Putting on the brakes for a brief moment was Peter Hokelwood. Up through center, Payer. His shot goes wide into the corner. Salzburg forcing a turnover. Here's a shot that went off his skate and up and out of play. And so well, the faceoff with 9.42 remaining. See a big hit that time delivered by Tyler Lewington. 28 year old out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Again, Pelicans able to win the draw. Touched up out near their own blue line. A little bit of speed on that far side wing, trying to center the puck, but the pass is broken up. Now it's back behind the net as Devin Steffler for Salzburg. Broke it up behind his own net. Puck kicked along off the skate, and here comes Salzburg. Touched up out through center. Patrick Carlson. Got there for a brief moment for the Pelicans. So we hit nine minutes to play now here in this opening period. Home crowd has not had a whole bunch to cheer about so far here in Austria. As the road team, the Pelicans have come in and if there's been anybody that's controlled things so far, it's been Lati. They don't have anything to show for it as of yet. Here's one that's thrown on that save made by Kicker. Kicker will gather it back in and cover it up, and a face-off will come to the left of Kicker. As Jose Kiskinen getting into it out in front of the net, in front of Kicker. Him and Lucas Schreier doing battle out in front of the net. Puck had eyes a little bit after that was thrown on goal from Casper Putio. Once again, Pelicans win another draw here. Here's a shot that goes up and out of play. 
had a lot of heat on it on that wrist shot that time. That's Nate Charm. Wins the draw again. Up near the point in the slot. This one deflected up and into the corner. Did it go out of play? Yes, it did. So another faceoff coming with 8.17 to go. Char wins it again. Puck picked up this time by Kiskinen. Brings it in. Lost it. Salzburg had it for a moment. They turn it right back over. Back behind the net. There's a shot that goes just wide that time of the net. Char had a chance and a look. Here's one that's kicked aside that time as Puzio teed one up from out near the blue line. And Puzio almost turns it over. And the puck does pop free and back out through center. 7.45 and counting here in the opening period. As the Pelicans back on the attack here along the near side have the puck. Payerl though will pick it up for Salzburg. Played it back behind his own net and this one lifted out through center. As the puck pin just outside the blue line. Now it is inside of the Pelican zone. They'll pick it up out of their own defensive end. But Payerl good forecheck there. Able to force the turnover for a brief moment. Puck still in the Pelican into the ice here as they try to get it out of their own area. Payerl, backhand pass. Salzburg still looking for their first shot on goal. That's not going to be it because that was blocked out in front. And finally, the Pelicans able to pick it up out of their own end and bring it out through center. They'll dump it into the attacking zone and make a line change here. Played up here to the near side. Jordan. Jordan wraps it around the boards over to the far side. Pelicans cannot hold it into the zone as it goes all the way back to the red line. Here's a turnover, potential two on one here. Back behind the net, wrap around chance. Where'd it go? Went off the side of the net. Here's a shot, save made for the first time by Okinora. As the puck is played into the corner. And so Salzburg with its first real good chance there. Testing Okinora. It's pinned up along the boards. Tim Harnish still pinned along the boards. Finally, he's let go as the puck finds the stick of Mikel Jordan for the Pelicans for a brief moment. Zlati. Will slow it down. Salzburg had a chance there off the turnover. They had a brief two on one look. Finally able to get their first shot on goal here this evening. It took a while. And certainly did test Yuho Okinoda. Pelicans. Of course, the turnover, but the net comes off the pegs. And it brings us to a break in the action. We're still scoreless here in Austria. Here's that opportunity for Salzburg. And Puck, I initially thought hit the side of the net, but it didn't look like Okinoda got a piece of it. And then Huber, Paul Huber, had another opportunity there. 
So Salzburg able to generate a couple of chances, but unable to get it past Okinora. You heard head coach Tommy Nimala of the Pelicans and what he wants to do offensively. We'll see if the Pelicans can execute as we go under five minutes to play here in the opening period. Up along the far side boards, Carlson plays it in a little bit farther into the Salzburg zone. You see the shots on goal, seven to one. And it has been dominated by the Pelicans so far, but still they have not been able to find the back of the net. Now through center. Giving chase this time was Florian Baltrem for Salzburg. Orki also there for the Pelicans. Puck does pop free over to Lubis Horky for a brief moment. Backhand pass over to the side from the right circle. This one is blocked and it will get out across the blue line. And is picking it up this time was Thomas Raffel. Raffel plays it up ahead. Peter Schneider. Raffle rolling puck didn't get a lot on that shot attempt may have been personally blocked that time. As here comes Tony Utonen. Flips it in. It's Philip Vinmir. Vinmir lost it. Vukovic. Turnover. Pelicans shot. It's kicked aside that time into the corner. Red Bull Salzburg. Unable to catch up to the puck as it went all the way through the neutral zone as the Pelicans get back defensively. Play it up ahead. Coming up on three minutes remaining in the opening period. Dancing with it in the slot. Lost it that time to Levy Tukanen. outside of the blue line. Salzburg flips it in the air. Plays it with the opposite blue line. Buck rolling along in the corner. Now finds its way up along the half boards as the Pelicans will shove it along here to the near side now. Holding it in the zone was Oni Kako. And here's one that goes through the crease for a brief moment. Kicker kind of lost it. Ended up behind him. Bouncing puck out near the point. Here's one that's rolling score! It was deflected out in front. That time, Lars Brigman and the Pelicans find the scoreboard first. They had generated a lot more chances here in this opening period. And finally, they get one past Kickert as the initial shot from Kako out near the point. A little deflection that time by Lars Bregman to make it 1 0. Platy just did get enough of it. For Bregman. He's only played in three CHL games so far this season. That's his third goal of the CHL season. Give that assist to Kako, which is his first assist of the CHL year. And so the Pelicans on the road, able to strike first. How does Salzburg respond as we go under two minutes to play here in the first period? Here's a breakaway opportunity here. Backhand chance didn't have a lot on it that time. Uh, Salzburg able to get back a little bit defensively on the four check. But the Pelicans still with it. Puccio, his shot goes wide and into the corner. So now the Pelicans starting to find their groove a little bit. And Salzburg trying to find an equalizing opportunity. But the Pelicans here holding the zone. Puccio. Dancing with it over here on the left side. Plays it into the corner, back below the net now. 
Back out near the point. Here's a shot blocked out in front. As Anton Millery tried to throw one out in front but had it blocked. Line change here for the Pelicans. Is dragging the puck in this time. Mikel Jordan. Back behind the net. Looking to center it. Under a minute remaining. Jordan gives it up. Shot from the point. That's blocked out in front that time. And a stoppage in play. Levy to Keenanen. That shot from out near the point and found the glove of the kicker. But the Pelicans applying the pressure, especially here late in the first period. It finally paid off in a Lars Brigman goal. It's Thomas Raffle turned it over. Here's a quick shot that had to be saved by kicker at that time off the turnover. Pelicans holding it in. 37 seconds to go. Buck pinned up along the boards. As Red Bull Salzburg drags it out through center. Vimir dumps it in. Line change here for both squads. See if the Pelicans have one last rush up the ice here with 12 seconds remaining. Losing an edge behind his own net that time. As the Pelicans content, I think, here just to hang on to it and let time tick away and expire on the first period. So 20 minutes are in the books. The Pelicans strike first. Lars Brickman finds the back of the net for his third goal of the CHL season to make it one nothing. Pelicans over Red Bull Salzburg. So we'll step aside. We'll come back, get ready for a period number two from Austria. Pelicans leading, one nothing.
First period in the books, Pelicans with a 1-0 lead over Red Bull Salzburg. You saw the goal there towards the end of the first period. They officially credit that goal, and I'm curious if they're going to look at it again. It has gone in the books, at least being credited to Adam Barris. Barris was in the play, but he never touched the puck. It was Lars Brigman who was out in front of the net that deflected it home. And the assist went to Onikako on that goal. So I'm curious if the official scores will go back and take a look at that and see if they change the official scoring on who got that goal for the Pelicans. At least from everything I saw, it would be Lars Brigman who scored that opening goal here tonight. But if you are looking at the official stat sheet, the 19-year-old Adam Barris currently getting credit for it. So here come the Pelicans out of the dressing room, trying to play their way into the round of 16. First 20 minutes went their way. A victory here tonight on away ice would go a long way potentially in securing a spot in the next part of the CHL, the round of 16 playoff. Salzburg, they could, in theory, still make the round of 16. They would need a win here tonight and then some help from a couple of teams in front of them to try to claim one of those top 16 spots. There's Lars Brickman. Again, by everything I saw, it looked like it was Lars that picked up the goal. But nevertheless, what matters most, Pelicans on the board first, leading 1-0. Teams will switch directions here in the second period. Pelicans will work left to right. Red Bull Salzburg right to left. You see Paul Huber tonight. It's five minutes and 16 seconds of on-ice time. Has a shot on goal. He has recorded the one shot so far tonight for Red Bull Salzburg. We have mentioned their offensive woes for Salzburg. In their last game in CHO play, they lost in overtime to the Belfast Giants. One to nothing in overtime. They've been shut out twice on the season. They lost their first game of the year to Chelefteo for nothing. And that shut out in overtime as well. So we start period number two as the Pelicans with a 1-0 lead. This will go down for icing. First icing call tonight. Didn't have one in the first period. We had a lot of face-off just because of pucks that went up into the netting. But did not have an icing call in that opening period. 
get one here, however. So a face-off coming from the Pelican zone. As Florian Baltram will take the draw for Salzburg, but the Pelicans once again dominate the face-off dot. As this one finds the back of the net, make it 2 0 it rung off the post. The top scorer, Casper Putio. He is a defenseman that can light the lamp. Out of their own end, Puccio able to catch up to it. And then just lets it rip, hit the inside of the post. And it beat Kicker. So Puccio finds his third goal of the season in CHL play. One year old, the Vesa, Finland. Makes it two, nothing Pelicans. And now Red Bull Salzburg, for a team that doesn't produce a lot of offense, being down two to nothing, almost seems like a mountain to climb. They've only generated one shot on goal. They have not won the time of possession battle here this evening either. As once again, the Pelicans play it out of their own end, up along the near side board, up through center. This puck will roll down toward the corner. And now a whistle and a stoppage in play. We'll have an icing call here, and a faceoff will come from the Salzburg zone. Well, T Pelican fans on hand tonight have to be pleased with how their team is performing here this evening. Look at the speed from the defenseman. Casper Puccio. Off the draw, Pelicans win it yet again. Back out near the point, and losing control of it. Pelicans as Salzburg will play it in. A little dump and chase. Adam Payerl trying to get there. He got to the puck, but unable to hang on to it. Takes a couple of swipes at it with his stick, trying to free it up. Now a turnover as it was picked up by Paul Huber for a brief moment, and covering it up was Yuho Okinora. See Payerl trying to create here. What a beautiful pass. It's Pay Earl out in front, and then Okinora sprawling through the crease, making a beautiful save. One of the better looks, only the second shot on goal generated by Salzburg. Puccio just outside his own blue line. Buck in the corner, touched up by Paul Huber. Huber shoved it along over to Tim Harnish for a brief moment. Now on the far side, right wing, able to hold the zone that time with Salzburg. Back behind the net, trying to center it, kicked away, got blocked out in front. Here's a shot from the left circle, blocked out in front, bouncing puck, back out toward the blue line, throw it on net, save made that time by Okinora. Puck still loose as Salzburg finally applying a little bit of pressure here and also holding onto the puck in the attacking zone. As this puck will pop free all the way back out through center and all the way down to the Red Bull zone. Where it's touched up for icing with 17.29 remaining in the second period. Off the turnover, Uber finding Pay Earl. It's one 
one of the rare opportunities that Salzburg has been able to generate here tonight. Off the face off, a quick shot that was steered aside as Okinora kind of lost it there for a moment. Looked behind him, not sure where it was at. Couldn't tell if Okinora got a piece of it or if it was deflected just a little bit wide. Nevertheless, no harm done as it didn't find the back of the net. Puck flipped up in the air. And Kickert will glove it for a stoppage in play. See Philip Sin. Been somewhat quiet tonight. He's played in three. CHL game so far this season hasn't scored, hasn't recorded an assist. Off the face off, Salzburg able to win the draw. Turnover, Pelicans trying to gather it back in. Barris in the corner, Barris centering pass. Deflected, gets it right back though, gives it up. Here's one thrown into the corner that time by Patrick Carlson as Carlson will regather the puck. Here along the near side, played it back below the goal line. From the right circle, Brigman had his pass go across the ice. Now back behind the net as the puck wrapped around the boards here to the near side. Pelicans holding it in the zone yet again, controlling the puck. But finally, the puck pops back out towards center where it's picked up and ripped in by Mikel Jordan. Salzburg will play it up through center. Four minutes have gone by here in this second period. Second period goal coming off the stick of Puccio to make it 2 0. As this one centered out in front, and the shot that time goes wide from Paul Steppelfeld. Had a good look at it. Shot from the point. Blocked out in front that time. Bouncing puck still loose up in the air. Ryan Murphy trying to gather it in. Gives way this time to Peter Hochhoffler. As Hochhoffler rubbed off the puck. Two on two the other way. Here's a pass and a shot that goes wide that time. Ripped it wide left. Puck comes all the way down to the Pelican zone. As Paul Huber throws it cross ice, picked up there by Casper Puccio. Stick on the ice, laying down in the corner as it's kicked along and now thrown up in the air a little bit. So there's an extra stick in there as guys trying to fight for it and get it free, and they finally do. No icing here. And it's getting to the puck. There's Red Bull Salzburg. Gather it up out of their own end, out across center on the attack here. Here's a shot. Harness goes wide that time. Puck is still loose as Okinora finally has to cover it up. Took a weird bounce. After it went wide on that initial shot attempt from Harnish. What was that turning shot that time by Stapelfeld? I think Salzburg can kind of sense the pressure that is on them at the moment. Been able to generate a few more chances, get some better looks, but still. Yoho Okinora has been equal to the task, not yielding a goal yet. Picked up out of the own end. You see 14 to 4 on shots on goal. There's an icing call. Comes in. 13.56 remaining.
Pelicans. Play the puck back behind. Kick it for a brief moment. Pick it up. Out toward the blue line. Circling. Here's a shot that's thrown wide. As Salzburg will throw it out of their own end and all the way down. A line change here. Thirteen minutes remaining in the second period. Two nothing lead for Platzi. A little bit of speed from Peter Schneider that time trying to get to the puck. Finally does along the far side. Schneider will give it up. Here's a shot from out near the blue line. Turning shot from the slot that time. One back out from the top of the right circle and a save made. By Yuho Okinora. It's a two goal lead for the Pelicans over Red Bull Salzburg. Thomas Raffel will take the draw for Salzburg. Go up against Elias Wielen. Pelicans win the draw out of their own zone. Touched up through center. Now on the attack as Wielen had it for a moment. Salzburg plays it back behind their own net. Schneider. Puck held in that time. By the Pelicans over on the far side, Utenen. Buck pops free. The Pelicans defenseman backtrack and gather it in at their own blue line for a brief moment. Under 12 minutes remaining here in the second period. As it's picked up by Devin Steffler. Salzburg making a line change there. The puck entered the Pelican zone, and this one goes all the way down for another icing call. Well, the Pelicans coming off of an overtime win just a few days ago, a 4 3 OT win. Against H.C. Bolzano. Off the draw, Salzburg with the shot that is wide of the mark. As the Pelicans will gather it up out of their own, own end here and throw it out, throw, throw it out towards center. The Pelicans with that victory just a few days ago. Keeping themselves in the hunt for the round of 16 in Champions Hockey League play. As this puck picked up in between the skates that time of Konsta Hirovainen. For a brief moment. Salzburg trying to hold the zone here. Circling out near the point now at the left circle. Here's a shot. Found a little opening that time to Tim Harnish. And the save had to be made. Okinora. Maybe partially tipped that time. By Petri Rianen.
Salzburg trying to hold it in. They do. Puck hit the blue line, but they kept it from getting across it. And finally, the Pelicans able to get possession, bring it up through center, and Adam Barris is offside. And a little too much speed. Pelicans got into the zone prior to the puck. Some big hits here this evening. In Salzburg, pretty physical, but a very clean play game. Neither team has been whistled for a penalty yet. Raffle out of his own end. Turned over at center ice now. Kieskinen turning with it. Kieskinen will dump it back behind him. Out near the point, turning with it this time is Barris again, rolling puck. And Barris trying to center it, turning shot, kicked aside that time, went off of a skate into the corner. Saltzberg brings it up ahead through center and then turns it over. Nice job getting back defensively by Kieskin in that time. Back out near the point. Here's a wrist shot. That's wide. Turnover. Salzburg one on one the other way potentially as Schneider fanned on it. Now here's the Pelicans chance but it's Kickert that came out from the crease to play it. Over here to the near side as the puck wrapped around the boards over to the far side touched up briefly by Luca Auer. Salzburg able to hang on to it. One time opportunity out near the blue line and a save made by Okinora. See Adam Barris. And went off the blocker that time of kicker. And did it find the back of the net? Yes, it did. It just did squeak by Okinora that time, and Schultzberg on the board, making it two to one. See who gets credit for the goal here. It just did trickle in. It's a wide open net that time. Looked like Devin Stifler. I say trickle in. Ripped right past Okinora, actually. The way that it kicked out of the net, I thought for a moment. It looked like it just trickled by Okinora, but it was ripped past him. It was Devin Steffler finds the back of the net. First goal of the CHL season for Steffler. Now here's another opportunity for Salzburg. As they trail by a goal, two to one, coming up on eight minutes to play. Rolling puck into the corner.
as this one goes cross ice. As the Pelicans pick it up out of their own end. Backhand attempt trying to get it out of there. Didn't have a lot on it. Fortunately, it didn't result in a turnover for the Pelicans there. As Barris back near his own blue line. And this one is going to be dumped in as the Pelicans will make way for a line change here. Top of the left circle, centering pass in the slot, rolling puck still loose. Uh, Salzburg able to throw it down to the other end for an icing call with 7.03 remaining. Tim Harnish gets credit for that assist, by the way, and that last goal for Salzburg. Diving attempt there by Olka Nora. Wide open net did Steffler. And a whistle comes in with 6.43 remaining. And we'll see what happens here after the whistle. Break in the action. Things heating up here in Austria. It's now 2 1. All right, PK, then, boys, PK. Jimmy Juncari will find the penalty box. First penalty that has been called against either team tonight. So now a power play opportunity here for Salzburg. They only have one power play goal on the season. See what they do here on the main advantage. Remember, penalties are a little bit different this year in the CHL and how they're administered and carried out. A full two-minute penalty, regardless if Salzburg ends up scoring here on this power play chance. Here's a shot. Save made initially. Rebound out in front. Shot that went wide, and another attempt that went through the crease. Couple of wide-open net chances, and the Salzburg could not find the back of the net. And 15 remaining on the power play. Red Bull. Possession of the puck. Lost it. Good poke check that time by Lars Brigman. And Salzburg will pick it up out of their own end. Trying to find the equalizer here. Get it back to level at two goals apiece. Yes. Luca Auer wraps it around the boards. Auer now gets it right back near the corner, puts on the brakes. He's checked into the boards briefly by Casper Puzio. Back behind the net, 35 seconds remaining on the power play for Salzburg. As this puck is thrown all the way down. And killing more time off the clock as Kicker touches it up. And center ice. Here's an opportunity, Vukovic. Back out near the point. Over on the far side. Hour from the left circle. And the puck is thrown down to the other end and that will do it for the penalty. So the Pelicans able to kill off the penalty successfully. Still have a one goal lead at two to one, but Salzburg finding a little bit of momentum here in the late stages of the second period. Tim Harnish 
on the attack. Gave it up. Pelicans will gather it up out of their own end. Skated across the red line. Two on one if they hurry. The pass. Backhand opportunity. Kickert with the save. Lars Brigman looking for a penalty potentially. He was charging toward the net. You can see Brigman here. Is that last power play opportunity for Salzburg. And Lucas Toller on that rebound. Oh man. Went through the crease. Had the opportunity to tie the game at two, but couldn't find the back of the net. But you saw Lars Brigman there. He thought maybe he was getting hooked for a brief moment. Didn't quite see it there on that replay. Well, here's Brigman, nevertheless, between the legs pass, finds Barris. As Barris rips it back in, was blocked out in front. 348 and counting in the second period. Bouncing puck out toward the red line. As Lubis Horky gives way now. As Kiskinen let it rip. Shots on goal still favoring the Pelicans, but Salzburg starting to inch a little closer. It's 14 to 10. Shots on goal in favor of the Pelicans. Pelicans bring it the other way. Here comes Thomas Raffle. And a line change here for Salzburg. Pelicans just killing time in their own end finally. Throw the puck up ahead, some speed. Here's a chance in the back of the net, a goal. They took their time and it results in a goal for Elias Vilen. It was a long outlet pass. And Elias Vilen wins the race and beats Kicker to make it three, nothing Pelicans. Able to wrap it around and hang on to it to the very last second. Went to the backhand. And Elias Vilen has his second goal in CHL, CHL play this season. So just like that, it's back to a two-goal lead for the Pelicans. They give themselves a little bit of breathing room here as we approach two minutes remaining in the second period. Salzburg had all that momentum, cutting the deficit down to one goal. Had a couple of opportunities on the power play, couldn't score on it. And then, just like that, Elias Vilen strikes to make it 3-1. You can see the frustration on Oliver David's face after that last goal his team gave up. Face off from the left circle just to the right of Kickert. Pelicans win another face off. the 20th face-off the Pelicans have won. 20 to 12 in terms of face-offs. Here's a shot from the slot. Locked out in front. Rebound opportunity. It goes wide and into the corner. Coming up on 90 seconds remaining in the second period. It's Paul Huber. Huber. Back out toward the blue line. Did it go over? No, it didn't. It was held in by Lewington. Nice job by Tyler Lewington to hold the zone here. Off the skate, Salzburg trying to keep it in, and they cannot. Here's an opportunity for the Pelicans for a brief moment. Good job getting back 
by Salzburg, however, to spill an opportunity that Levy Tukinen had, it looked like, for a brief moment. Under a minute remaining here in the second. Puck that bounces up in the air and into the corner. Let's see. We'll bring it out of their own end. Along the near side wing. Irvin then had it for a brief moment. Gave it up. Salzburg. Thomas Raffle had it for a second. Gets it right back. Here's Raffle. Played back behind Olkinora. 20 seconds remaining now. And slashing at it there was Casper Puzio trying to free it up. 10 seconds remaining. Salzburg hanging on to it. And they get a shot off here in the waning moments of the second period. It's played back out to center. Two seconds. And that will do it for the second period. So the scoring opens up a little bit in the second period. There was three goals scored in total. The Pelicans have a two-goal lead at 3-1. to one. At the end of two periods of play, Pelicans trying to secure a spot in the round of 16 of the CHL playoffs. Salzburg trying to play spoiler. They trail by two goals at home. We'll step aside and we'll come back for the final period of play here from Austria.
Welcome back to Salzburg, Austria. Yes. Get ready for the third period of action. See, not a wild second period, but at least the scoring opened up a little bit. Three goals total, two of which came off the sticks of the Pelicans to make it a three to one lead going into the third period. The first goal of the second period came just a handful of moments into period number two as Casper Puccio made it two to nothing. And then scoring his first CH go CHL goal of the season, Devin Stifler made it two to one. And then Red Bull Salzburg had a power play opportunity. They went on the man advantage, trailing by a goal. They had a couple of chances, but they could not find that equalizer. And then towards the end of that second period, Elias Velen scoring the goal to make it three to one. Velen picking up his second goal in CHL play. Pelicans trying to get into the round of 16. A victory here tonight would go a long way in doing so. Take a look at the updated standings at the moment. The Pelicans helping their cause as they're sitting in the middle of the pack right now. Hanging around that number eight, number nine spot in terms of points. If you're looking at the live standings, just if you're looking at the regular standings without projecting the point totals, the Pelicans right now sitting at the 15th spot in the CHL with eight overall points. But if they go on to win, they pick up those three points and they would vault themselves easily into the top 16 potentially maybe the top eight, which would be huge going into the round of 16 
next month. But we still have 20 minutes of action left here. As teams here in the third period switch directions. Salzburg work left to right. Plus he will work right to left. Here we go. Final period of action. As the Pelicans working with a two goal lead. Salzburg trying to play spoiler here. As they trail by two goals. Red Bull Salzburg at least was able to find their footing at least offensively midway through that second period. They were able to showcase that they could possess the puck and create some chances. In that first period, they really struggled in time, to, in time of possession and also just shots on goal. They only generated a couple of shots on goal in that first period. Losing an edge back behind his own net was Tony Utsunen for a brief moment. Pelicans out of their own end, up through center, play it here to the near side, picked up on the stick of Lubas Korki. Tyler Lewington flips it up in the air for the Pelican blue line. Salzburg will retreat. Lewington in his own end, plays it up through center, off the boards, into the corner, giving chase this time was Peter Hochkuffler. Puck pinned up along the boards. Lewington battling for it, trying to free it up. Finally does pop free as it swings around the boards. Salzburg unable to hold the zone, however. Oh, have to get back on side. Here's a shot that's blocked in the air. And back behind Okinora for a brief moment. And here come the Pelicans on the attack. Already has a goal underneath his belt. Elias Vilen drug the puck in on the attack. Pass is broken up as Salzburg turns it back over at the neutral zone. Almost two minutes gone by here in the third period. As the Pelicans trying to extend their two goal lead. In the attacking zone, they'll play it over to the far side. Pass was intended for Casper Puccio. Weaving his way through some defenders that time was Levi Tukinen. And here's a shot that rattles off the boards and pops all the way back out through center. And it looks like we might have a delayed penalty here. And as coming out was Yuho Okinora. And so the extra attacker is on. Delayed penalty coming up as soon as Salzburg touches the puck. But right now, the Pelicans taking their time. With that extra attacker out on the ice. Irvinen had it for a brief moment. Here come the Pelicans. Out of their own end. Eunice Ellen will play it back. Mikhail Jordan now. Finally, the puck touched up by Salzburg, and finally the penalty comes in with 16.45 remaining. And the Pelicans will go on the power play for the first time tonight. See what the hooking call was here, right there. Yep, sure was. Tim Harnish getting his left-handed stick in there. Well, they actually call Luca Auer. Looked like Harnish, I thought. But it's Luca Auer and not Harnish. Pelicans win the draw, but unable to hold it in the zone, so they'll play it back on their own end and regroup here. He's gonna touch it up, played it back a little bit farther. Carlson brought it up ahead, play it down below the goal line. Nice tic-tac-toe passing as he's gonna had a shot, but it was blocked out in front that time 90 seconds remaining on the main advantage for the Pelicans once again center the pass but it's broken up able to hold it in though at the blue line that time was Anton 
Mielery, and here's a shot, score! On the power play, the Pelicans make it a three-goal lead. Going top shelf that time, Patrick Carlson scoring his second CHL goal of the season. Beat Kickert, glove side. And so Carlson, 35 year old veteran, finds the back of the net. It's looking more and more like the Pelicans. Gonna secure a spot in the playoffs of the Champions Hockey League. Unless Salzburg can find some miracle goals here in the stretch of the third period as they trail by three. Still on the power play. 58 seconds remaining. Trying to extend a three goal lead here potentially for Lati. The left side half boards dancing with it, surveying the ice. Orki gives it up. Gets it back after it was blocked out in front. Orki. Back out. Putio had it for a brief moment. Now he gets it back off the point, kicks it off his skate, played it back to Horky. Trying to cross ice pass, went off the boards. Horky again from the left circle, throws it down low and had an opportunity there. 15 seconds remaining on the main advantage for the Pelicans. Got it down below the goal line as Horky misfired, unable to find the puck that time. Putio throws it on net and a save made by Kickert that time. Four seconds remaining on the power play as the Pelicans starting to pepper David Kickert. As Puzio let it rip. He's listed as a defenseman, but he is so active in terms of goal scoring. He's an offensive defenseman, if you want to put it that way. Off the draw, another save had to be made. By Kickert that time. 14-42 remaining in the third period. The Red Bull Salzburg faithful. Trying to make some noise, give their team a little bit of energy here. Salzburg. Turn it over at center ice. Big hit. And a collision as Salzburg will pick it up on the attack now. Rolling puck. Still loose in the slot. Over in the corner. Turning with it. Baltram. Back out. One time opportunity that time. As letting it rip. Was... Devin Steffler is responsible for the lone goal so far tonight for Red Bull Salzburg. But you see the big hit by Luca Auer. 19 year old, six foot one, 187 pound forward. Salzburg able to win the draw, and Thomas Raffle let it rip. It went high. Up and up along the boards over on the far side. Finally does come free back out toward the blue line. Able to hold it in was Raffle on the far side half boards. Chipped along and then turned over as it's picked up that time by Patrick Carlson. As the Pelicans will gather it in. As Barris. Barris. Some speed up along the wing. Barris dancing with it. And then sliding in at the last second to break it up on that charge attempt. 
Take it off the stick of Barris. You can see the speed of Barris is Yimmy Yunkari. Had it for a brief moment. Yunkari plays it up through center ice. In the let's see zone. Here's Red Bull Salzburg with an opportunity on the attack here. And Schnappelfeld shoved it along into the corner for a brief second. And then the Pelicans regather possession out of their own end. 12.45 and counting here in the third period. Four to one Pelicans. They have led throughout this game here this evening. They have dominated pretty much every stack category you can think of. Shots on goal, 20 to 11 in favor of the Pelicans. Only 10 saves have had to been made tonight for Okinora. Check that now, 11 saves actually. Each team has had a penalty. And the Pelicans, the only team so far this evening to capitalize on their power play chance. Salzburg unable to capitalize on their main advantage and now after the stoppage a little pushing and shoving the Pelicans looking to secure a spot in the CHL playoffs they're in a good spot at the moment leading four to one Oliver David searching for some answers. As fans here in Austria might be seeing their team on the short end at the moment, but nevertheless having a good time. Pelicans throw it into the attacking zone and then Salzburg. Out of their own end, giving chase. Now here's a shot that is blocked. Up and out of play. Shot coming that time from Dennis Robertson. Actually, it was Paul Huber who let the shot rip. Robertson was down toward the goal line. Raffle played it back a little bit farther. Salzburg. And a delayed penalty coming up here. Could be a tripping call against Salzburg, but Pelicans with possession of the puck at the moment. They pull the goaltender yet again, get the extra attacker on the ice here. So another power play opportunity coming up for the Pelicans here. They take their time looking for a shot attempt. Thrown. Through the crease and into the corner. Salzburg yet to touch the puck up here. Play it down toward the goal line. Centering pass out in front. It's steered aside that time. As Kako had an opportunity out in front of David Kickert. And the puck is touched up. It looks like Philip Sin will go to the penalty box for tripping here. And Sin turned the puck over as he's falling on the ice, and yeah, clearly got the stick 
in the skates of Yusei Kiskinen. So once again, the Pelicans on the power play. They already have a power play goal underneath their belt. Kiskinen plays it back to the point, gets it right back. Kiskinen dancing with it, lost it, turned it over. As the Pelicans will pick up the loose puck at the center ice as Anton Millery picked it up for a brief moment. Approaching the halfway point of this third period. Millery. Drug it all the way in on the attack, and then it was played into the corner, and now Salzburg will throw it out of their own zone. Was coming out was Yoho Okunora. Lars Brigman unable to hang on to it, had to retreat a little bit, pick it up at the neutral zone. Brigman trying to gather it back in, and then Thomas Raffle spins and fires the puck all the way down. Zolkanota so comes out from his net to play it. Here's Brigman on the near side, throws it in into the trapezoid where Kicker picked it up for a brief moment. Brigman. Back and forth pass between Brigman and Velen. At the left circle. 12 seconds remaining on the man advantage now. As Kickert makes the save that time as Ryan Lash was slashing through. And Kickert able to make the stop. You can see Lash. Out in front, setting himself up. Try to almost look what looked like a backhand pass to Lars Brigman, but Puck came right back to him and he fired. Off the draw, Pelicans win it. Here's a shot. Like he might have hit the side of the net, picked up by the Pelicans as they hold on to possession here. Circling on the cycle, back out toward the point. Shot that time from. Rhiannon. This kicker stops the puck. Jordan. Whistle comes in with 8-10 remaining in the third period. Salzburg, it is looking like their season in the CHL is going to draw to a close. Just really haven't been able to produce a lot of offense. And when you get into the CHL and you run into teams who have high scoring offenses like the Pelicans, definitely can make life tough. You look at some of the games that Red Bull Salzburg has lost. Three of them were one goal losses. Salzburg lost to Adler Mannheim three to two. Lost to ERC Ingolstadt two to one. And then that overtime loss just a few days ago to the Belfast Giants one to nothing. I mean. They're in those three games, and if you turn those games around, it's a different story for Red Bull Salzburg this season, but couldn't come up clutch in those big moments. And we have four points, five games, this being game day number six of the regular season.
Seven minutes to play. Pelicans dominating this one here this evening on the road. As Velen. Velen trying to fight for it in there. Finally does come free. Rolling puck. Touched up that time by Yimmy Yunkari. And now here comes Red Bull Salzburg. A little bit of speed this time. Peter Schneider. Schneider. And that pass intended for Tyler Lewington, but went over his stick and back toward the neutral zone. Touched up that time by Philip Vinmir. As the Pelicans out of their own end. Salzburg will pick it up back near their own blue line as Venmir played it up ahead. Yuho Okanora. Prior to the game tonight for Okanora, came in having given up 3.3. Goals against on average. His save percentage was middle of the road at best, a .878 save percentage. He was one and two in the five games that the Pelicans have played prior to tonight's game. Coming up on five minutes. Remaining. Nice move that time by Adam Barris. Is Barris that by a couple of defenders where he ended up losing the puck back behind the Salzburg net. Putting on the brakes was Mikhail Jordan. Rolling puck directed here to the near side this time. Jordan just killing time standing back behind his own net and now he'll fire the puck up ice long pass up ahead as Nate Shar Shar back out toward the blue line Kako pass intended for Kiskanen Turnover here. Vokovitz forcing the turnover, but unable to hang on to it. Pelicans get back defensively. And now Adam Payerl with it for Salzburg. Lewington lets it rip. Puck loose out in front of Okinora, and then he covers it up. 3.32 remaining in the third period. Pelicans looking to advance in the CHL. So a rare offensive zone draw here for Salzburg and the Pelicans win it yet again. You take a look at the stats in terms of number of faceoffs won tonight. Salzburg dominating the faceoff dot. That's the 29th faceoff they've won. 29 to 16. And the faceoff battles tonight. 
Vila pinned it up along the boards. Vila trying to kick it along. As Vinmir trying to free it up, as is Peter Schneider. One thrown on net there that was blocked out in front. And here comes Salzburg. Thomas Raffle. Pass intended for Florian Baltram. Out of the reach of Baltram that time. There's a one timer by Thomas Raffle that goes up and out of play. You can see the frustration on some of the Salzburg players' faces. Just been one of those nights. Bounce up in the air, landed right in front of him. Thrown on goal, and then kicker trying to cover it up, and finally does. It was loose right in front of kicker. Trying to poke at it and get it past kicker. Eunice Ellen was there, but unable to stuff it home. Good job by Kicker to get that stick. So where Eulen couldn't get to the puck. And this one thrown up and out of play and another face off coming. This one thrown on net. Kicker will cover it up yet again. Shot score. It was deflected out in front. And the Pelicans put another one up on the board, make it five to one. See who's gonna get credit for the tip out in front. It looked like Konsta Hirvonen. As letting it rip initially was Mikhail Jordan and then Hirvonen. Tips it past Kicker to make it five to one. See Kicker coming up out of his crouch there, trying to make that stop. Yervanen uh, with the goal, his second CHL goal of this season. As Pay Earl. Salzburg. 90 seconds remaining now on the attack. As Ali Vukovic played it back and then getting back defensively and on that poke check that time was Kiskinen. And now it's loose out in front, still loose, has not been covered up as finally Okinora able to get on top of it and cover it up.
So if you're looking ahead in terms of live standings, Pelicans came in with eight points through five games. After today, when everything is said and done, they will have 11 points, which will vault them up into about seventh or eighth place of the CHL. We'll see where they officially reside after tomorrow. There's still games to be played to tomorrow to determine who's going to be in the top 16. Tomorrow being the final regular season game day. 25 seconds remaining here in the third period. As the Pelicans dominating on the road here tonight, trying to add more to it as a backhand opportunity goes wide that time. 10 seconds remaining. Throw one on goal that goes wide. Three seconds. And that will do it. So the Lotsi Pelicans with a 5-1 to one victory over Red Bull Salzburg here this evening on the road. They have given themselves an opportunity to secure a spot in the round of 16 going into next month of the CHL playoff. Quite a dominating performance. They never trailed at any point in time. As teams lining up the respective blue lines and now we'll go through the handshake line. As the Pelicans dominate shots on goal, 27 to 18 tonight. Find the back of the net five times. Impressive performance by their goaltender, Yuhu Okinora. As he only gave up the one goal this evening. As Okinora finished the game, having made 17 of 18 saves. 94% save percentage tonight for Okinora. So the Pelicans with the victory, 5-1. to one. That'll do it for our broadcast here from Austria tonight. One more game day coming up in the Champions Hockey League. That is tomorrow. Handful of games on tap for the last regular season game day of this year before we go into the playoffs. Until tomorrow, I'm Keaton Homer signing off. Pelicans win 5-1.
today, but in the end it's the last NFC out in the uh, regular season in the CHL. What were the main reasons for today's loss? Uh, they were better than we were. They skated well, they, they made good plays, and they scored on their chances. It was a good start in the Ice Hockey League, but not a really good start into the CHL season. Uh, how would you sum up your team's performance overall in that regular season CHL? I thought we got better with each game tonight. Uh, we we had a very different lineup than we started the CHL regular season with. Uh, we have some guys that are, yeah, needing needing a little rest. Had some small injuries that uh, were not able to play tonight that wanted to play. And um, yeah, other than that, until tonight, I thought we were climbing and climbing. In Belfast, we we didn't find our game. That was the last game, but. The four uh, in the beginning of the season, uh, we made a lot of progress throughout, so we just fell short. You talked about the progress. Is there still something positive, although you haven't made the playoffs, you can take from the CHL into the upcoming games? Yeah, I mean, just in general, uh, if you just think about them as high-level games, you, you take the learning from every situation uh, you're in. and also moving on to next season in understanding uh, the level of the CHL and yeah, being ready uh, when the first game starts. In terms of taking it into our season, um, yeah, for us it's about managing rest and workouts and practice and yeah, how we prepare. So it's, uh, in this way, it's uh, another, another game, a, a day we have to get right tomorrow and the next day and prepare for our next game. So it just just continues. Thank you very much, Coach, and good luck for the next game. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Coach, on the win today and for securing the playoff spot. What were the main reasons for today's win? Kyllä me oltiin tänään tänä vastusta, vastusta parempia ennen kaikkea, varmasti niinku taktisesti, että Meillä oli, meillä oli hyvä pelisuunnitelma tähän otteluun lähtiessä ja, ja pystyttiin toteuttamaan sitä hienosti. Paljon on töitä vielä siinä, että meidän peli menisi 60 minuuttia niin hyvin kuin me halutaan, mutta ollaan tyytyväisiä voittaa. You had a tough start in the domestic league in Finland, but you, you secured the playoff spot now in the CHL. Can you gain some confidence off of those games like this today? No varmasti saada itseluottamus tästä näin, että, että aina kun voittaa kovia kansainvälisiä pelejä, se on hyvä, hyvä asia, että me ollaan pelattu kotimaisliigat pidemmän aikaa, nyt on erittäin hyvin, mutta tulos on meitä vähän karttanut siinä. Ja tänään saatiin erinomaiset maalivasti peli, olikin nuora Jussi, Jussi oli loistava maalissa ja kaikki pelaajat, ketä tänään kentällä oli, kaikki terveet jätkät, niin ne pelasi hienosti. The regular season is done now. How would you sum up your team's performance in the regular season? And what are your expectations for the playoffs? No me pelattiin hyvä, hyvä tämä alkusarja, että, että tosiaan neljä voittoa kuudesta on hyvä, hyvä suoritus ja, ja totta kai odotetaan innolla sitä, että ketä vastaan päästään pelaamaan nyt sitten playereissa ja saadaan sitä kautta sitten taas meidän joukkueelle hienoja yhteisiä kokemuksia, mutta tota, tästä on hyvä jatkaa eteenpäin. Kiitos, good luck. Kiitoksia oikein paljon.